I'm serious. This one time racism saved my life, man. I was, I was on a plane. <laughs> I, I, was coming, I was coming from overseas, and uh, I don't know how this guy got a machine gun on the plane, but he stood up, man. He said, everybody, get on the fucking ground. Nobody look at my face. <laughs> I started freaking out. Because he was Chinese, I was like, why is he talking like that? <laughs> he was screaming and crying. I was the only brother on the plane. Well, I, I thought I was the only brother. I looked over, there was one other black dude. He was from Nigeria. I, I looked over to him, he was looking right in my face, man. He didn't say two words to me, he just looked at me, he was like... <laughs> He didn't need to talk, I know just what he was talking about. I looked right back at him, I was like. <laughs> Some white dudes on the front of the plane seen us, they were like, oh my God. I think those black guys are gonna try to save us. Mm-mm. <laughs> We were just communicating that we understood the situation. We were both seeing the same thing. What we understood was simple. Terrorists don't take black hostages. <laughs> That's the truth. I have yet to see one of us on the news reading the hostage letters. Um, mm. They is treating us good. Uh, we all chilling and shit. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to Ray Ray and Big Steve and uh, Jason Newport. You're not going to see it. And terrorists are smart. They know what they're doing there, you know. They're terrorists. They know black people's bad bargaining chips. <laughs> they called the White House. Hello? We have got five black, hello? <laughs> You'd be back in DC. You know, I'm just thinking, man, this is, this is an election year. I'm asking you, you're a white guy, do you know who you're voting for yet? Don't know, do you? Now you see that? You see what just happened here? Let me tell you something, that is a cultural thing. He knows who he's gonna vote for, he's just not gonna tell me. <laughs> See, I've noticed that. That is a cultural thing. White people do not like to talk about their political affiliations. It's a secret. You ever ask a white guy who's voting for you? Hey, Bob, uh, Bob, who are you gonna vote for? Dave, Dave, whoa, 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 take it easy now. Take it easy. So anyway, um, I was fucking my wife in her ass, right? And, <laughs> and I mean, it was something else. Yeah, 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 but, but, but who are you voting for? Dave! <laughs> Dave, come on with the voting. I'm trying to tell you about fucking my wife here. Ask me all these personal questions. <laughs> they don't like to divulge that information because it matters to them. Black people talk about that shit. Black people will openly talk about politics. Black people will openly talk about beating up politicians and shit. If I see George Bush, I'll kick his motherfucking ass for cutting my Medicaid. Oh, okay, okay, I'm going to say it. Why would you just say it? But there's a reason for that. It matters more for that. It matters more. Black people, see, see, even when I vote right, which I don't, but, but, <laughs> but even when I, like, think about, like, who I would vote for, right, I don't even look at their political policies. I just look at their character. You know what I'm saying now? You gotta read, no, I'm serious. You gotta read between the lines. Like, you know, you look at Clinton, and black people like Clinton, because we've seen him on the campaign. I saw one thing on the campaign trail. He, he actually just picked a black baby up and kissed him. Come here, you little nigger baby. Mwah! Just kiss him. I said, mm-hmm. I like that. He did not hesitate or nothing. You see George Bush Jr., he be that, ugh. <laughs> oh, but. I 
Like, say, I'd never vote for George Bush Jr., but I don't know George Bush Jr.'s politics. The only thing I know about George Bush Jr. is that that guy sniffed cocaine. That's right. Now, listen, we cannot have that shit in the White House. That might be fine for a mayor, but God damn it, not in the White House. The stakes are too high in the White House. Can't have no coke head president. Mm -mm. He be selling nuclear secrets for twenty, thirty dollars and shit. He be in meetings embarrassing America. Come on, sign the treaty, baby. I suck your dick. Like what the? Uh, Mr. President, that is not how we do business here, sir. Stop sucking the ambassador's dick. <laughs> no, let him finish. I will sign the treaty. There will be peace in Israel, finally. I'd vote for Clinton again if I could. At least it's always been... Now again, I'm not looking at his politics. Don't know what his politics are. I'm just looking at his behavior. <laughs> I understand that kind of behavior. I know a lot of dudes with them shortcomings. Weed smoking fornicators, there's a lot of them. <laughs> I mean, come on now, let's, let's be honest, let's, let's be honest. Bill Clinton was not the first president to do what he did. Now, now let's just, let's just Let's, let's think back for a minute. Remember a guy named, named Kennedy, John F. Kennedy? Remember him? He fucked Marilyn Monroe. Matter of fact, him and his brother Bobby fucked Marilyn Monroe. And history doesn't talk about that much. You know why history doesn't talk about that much? Because those two pages in history are stuck together. <laughs> they, they was getting it on. They were getting it on. I seen the tapes. Remember the tapes? She'd be singing on there. She'd just party, stressing them out. Hey, happy birthday, <laughs> Mr. President. <laughs> Bitch, my family's here. Mm. Clinton did the same thing, but he didn't do it like that. Because it's the year 2000, he's busier than Kennedy was. He was a busy man. Clinton did that kind of thing the way busy men do it. You know what busy men do? They fuck who's close to them. I can tell that's what Clinton was up to. It looked like he just stuck his head out the office door and shit. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> you, you, come here, come here. I need my penis up for my 3.30, come on. Oh, boy. <laughs> He's probably looking at Kennedy's picture and shit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and then to top it off, he